so in my late 20s I was out uh, in Los Angeles and I was working as an actress and things were sort of not going my way and uh -huh. uh, and I started to feel um, uh, purposeless I started to feel really? um, yeah I it was not a, it was not an easy time it was not an easy time and um, and it was at that time that I started reaching out for answers and I started uh -huh. reading all the books, you know, all the books, the Wayne Dyers and the all the self-help, all the personal growth. And I started finding a lot of Bible. I read the Bible. I read the Bible. I read the Bible. I read I, I read everything I could I could find to say. I feel like I should feel better than this. Uh -huh. And I feel like it looks like it's everyone else's fault. But I have a sneaking suspicion that the power to change how I feel is inside of me. And that really started at the end of uh, my 20s. At the same time, I was still exploring the arts. I was married at that time. My husband is incredible, Rodney Kendrick. He's an amazing pianist. But more than that, he understands the, um, the practice of the arts and how the arts can heal and expression, self-expression can heal. So I had his words in my ears. I had Abby Lincoln's words in my ears. Abby was an incredible jazz singer, songwriter, poet, activist. She also was saying to me, you know, you need to, don't just sing other people's songs, write your own songs, write your own songs. So I had those two words in my ears. And then I had these books I was reading and together they started to form something. I didn't even realize that that's what was being formed, but they started to form my personal practice. And so for now, for 20 years, I've been having this practice of, of personal growth, of self-inquiry, of, of knowing that the power is inside of me, of, of knowing that whenever I'm down, and I will, full, di full disclosure, today was a hard day for me. Um, really? I'll, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to get off track. But yeah, today was one of those days that was challenging. And, um, but I knew, I knew that I have the power and the control to change how I'm seeing that situation. And all of that merged with my music. And so for the past 20 years, even though it looks like I'm wearing all these different hats, the truth is right. I'm wearing one hat. And that mm. hat is this hat of personal power. That hat is this hat of knowing that the buck stops with me and that right. no matter what anybody is doing you asked earlier was it strategic was it what doesn't even matter it doesn't right. even matter because i i am built i have built a bubble <laughs> of well-being around myself and it doesn't matter who comes at me with what and uh -huh. that lesson and that practice is what's in my music and that is what's in my writing that's what's in my public speaking so it looks like all these hats but it's really one hat you know wow. um